The heat wave. A heat wave is baking We all know that the temperature is rising, all thanks to global warming. It affects human habitats as much as the polar bears. How are humans escaping from it? By installing as many air conditioners as they can. Have you ever given any thought to how AC is affecting our environment? Most people do not know that they are contributing to environmental poisoning, and others who do know believe AC is their only option. Now, what they do not know is about those ancient techniques that were being used hundreds of years ago before electricity. In this video, we will conclude all the ancient cooling methods that will not only save the environment, but will save you some serious extra bucks. Have you ever heard about bad gear? If not, let me guide you to what it is. It translates to wind catcher, and as the name suggests, it catches the wind and passes it inside our houses. It does not use electricity and still provides cooling in summer. However, in winter, it keeps the building warm and cozy. It is most commonly seen in Yazd, a city in Iraq. This city is in extremely dry conditions and is covered by desert, with the highest temp being 40 degrees centigrade. Even in these extreme conditions, you will still not find AC buildings in Yazd. Most buildings in Yazd are built on the technique of wind catchers. Bedgear works by creating cross ventilation and passive cooling. They come in various designs based on the direction of the wind, types being unidirectional, bidirectional, and multidirectional. Surprisingly, wind catchers work with or without wind. When the wind is blowing, wind catchers catch the wind and trap them inside the building, giving people a cool breeze. And when the wind is not blowing, it works as a chimney by releasing the hot air of the building outside. If you are afraid that wind catchers will bring dust, do not worry, they come with filters as well. Moving on, we got buildings with tomb-like roofs with a hole in the middle. These shapes help maintain the air circulation inside the building, giving cooling in the summer and maintaining warmth in the winter. These techniques can be seen in North Africa, India, and West Asia. Have you noticed that houses with warm climates have white roofs? This works on the phenomena of white color absorbs less light and black absorbs more. These roofs decrease the temperature inside by 2 to 5 degrees centigrade. Another way to keep your home cool in the summer and warm in the winter is through insulation. If you insulate your home with good quality material, you will have to use less AC as compared to without insulation. It can be costly in starting, but pays for itself in 6 years. It reduces your cooling and warming costs by 40%. Now talking about a more modern approach to a sustainable AC, nothing tops district cooling. In district cooling, a big air conditioner is mounted underground in big buildings, such as banks, malls, hotels, and even residential buildings. This technology saves up to 50% on energy and emissions. Having one unit to cool the entire building is more sustainable than using multiple units. Another more modern and eco-friendly approach for cooling is planting vegetation on the roof. This approach not only looks good, but also provides cooling to the building with a better ecosystem in the surroundings. The temperature of green roofs is proven to be 30 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit lower than that of conventional roofs. The use of AC in these households is reduced by 75%. Not only that, these roofs last up to 50 years. Now imagine saving 75% of cooling costs for 50%, all that by contributing to Mother Nature. Another approach to cooling in a more eco-friendly way, but on a large scale, is by planting green corridors. The Colombian city of Medellin was able to reduce the average temperature by 2 degrees centigrade after only 3 years of following this approach. Another way of reducing heat in the city is by minimizing heat expelled by vehicles. Following ancient modes of transport can reduce temperature and pollution of different types. Talking about our last but not least method of reducing heat in any building or house is by cross-ventilation. Cross-ventilation requires the study of wind and the sun's placement in that specific area, and then building windows and doors according to that. Cross-ventilation is the most effective way of reducing the temperature by 5 degrees centigrade using the natural wind. So let us know in the comment section which is your favorite ancient way of cooling. Do subscribe for similar videos. Until then, start contributing to our mother nature.